of, of uh, most of the rest of the country in, uh, in, putting, in uh, putting in solar. So, you know, we, we have a tremendous opportunity here uh, in the distributed area to, uh, to move ahead. But um, if we look at uh, global markets, um, what's amazing to me globally what solar has done here, comparing from the year 2000 through the year 2011, wind power and solar, where uh, every year, um, with the exception of the last two years, uh, wind power uh, total market size exceeded the solar market. But in the last two years, and especially in the last year, there's been a tremendous jump in solar where now the total world energy market for solar is $91 billion a year, uh, exceeding the uh, market for wind power uh, at $71 billion by almost $20 billion. So you can see the acceleration rate of this particular technology. It, it's, a, it's, a, it's a very good thing, but I'm going to speak a little bit later at the end of my discussion here of how we do need to be aware of the barriers and the potential walls that we could hit with this kind of an accelerated growth. Because we do have to recognize that we are taking a system, a distributed system, and we're integrating it into a electric grid that has traditionally been structured for a much different type of generation system, and that is a central system, central station generation. So based upon that, we need to look at, you know, what are going to be the factors uh, that may slow this growth, because as you can see, this growth is accelerating at an unbelievable pace. And if we look at the world, you can